Hi, Professor Acker. So, this is really weird because I usually write papers. I have jello, just so you know. Um, but today, with, uh, with my depressing disappointment, as I tried to take all of my notes that I had outlined and put them into one cohesive thing, it just, it wasn't working. So, because the more I looked at the words, the more I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And then it just felt stupid, and then I just got upset, and I just got mad at the assignment, and then I got mad at myself. And so I figured if I just talked it out, that maybe I could do it easier. <laughs> um, that, that things could come a little bit easier, and I could... express what it is I want in my soul um yeah cause it's a tough thing it's a tough thing I didn't expect it to be that hard so um I guess I'm just gonna start so apparently when I was little I, like, my parents could tell right away that I would be an artistic kid. Um, my dad was gonna write letters to me as I grew up. And he ended up only writing one, which was like, damn, dad. I would have liked to see those. But, um, he said I, I was... I was always sort of like that, and that was a cool thing, so, um, I always wanted to put shows on for people when I was a kid, and I, um, nope, this is just as hard. Well. I guess what I have wanted, um, I've always wanted to write my own songs and sell out stadiums and make the kind of money that goes along with selling out stadiums and having designers give me clothes for them to like for from them to for me to model for them and have a big fan base and inspire people and be open about how draining the artistic process can be um gaga is that person for me i like lady gaga i enjoy watching her stuff and i enjoy the honesty she has about how sometimes this really sucks and um comfort jello I've also wanted to be on Broadway since I was a little kid sell out houses that way um I for a while I would meditate and I would put on my big old Sennheisers and um, I would uh, turn on Wicked or Funny Girl and I would close my eyes and picture myself on a stage doing that performance at the Tonys and winning one, um, winning many. I've always wanted to win a Tony for a revival of Funny Girl, which is like a weird thing. Every time a revival comes out, um, it always gets canceled. So I'm like, oh, they're saving it for me. Ah, oh, sounds so crazy. Yeah, this is a really hard assignment and, and that sucks because this shouldn't be hard. This should be what I'm passionate about. But, um, with all that, 
wealth and influence that I want to amass. I, um, my first priority would be, um, uh, buying my mother a ranch home. She's always wanted a ranch home. And... I don't know, she's just done so much for me, and, God, and I, um, if, if all of my dreams align somehow, that would be my first thing that I would do, would be to buy my mother a big ranch home, on one floor, so she wouldn't have to climb any stairs, and for myself, I've always wanted a big home, space is something that inspires me. I need to move. I need to move a lot. I don't focus well. So if I have a big space and like several rooms to go into, I I feel calmer. I don't feel as restricted. Uh, in my big house, I've always wanted a steam room for my voice. That smells like lavender and eucalyptus. And I want a yoga studio with all kinds of mirrors and very zen and candles everywhere and a water feature. <laughs> um, and what else do I want in my house? I. Oh, a big closet. I want a big closet with lots of pretty things and, and organized. Oh, I want it so organized. <laughs> um, I, I feel the thing about someone else cleaning your house for you. Um, it would be cool if I could get someone else to clean the house for my mom, too. Because that's a big source of stress for her. She does so much. Oh, I want an art gallery. Oh, I want the nicest art gallery. With with pretty statues. I found out I really like Bernini. Bernini was a neat dude. But yeah, I would love to be able to um to sponsor artists especially local ones, and just have a big old gallery and have swanky parties in my big old gallery and dress fancy and eat good food. Oh, I love food, and I'd love to travel. And I'd get food from everywhere and meet new people and speak languages. Oh, that would be so neat. Um... I, I want to go to Taiwan, I want to go to Italy, I want to go to India, I want to go, I mean, why not? I'll go everywhere. France, Germany, Ireland, England. There are so many other places in the world, China, Japan, there's places I don't even know about that are insane and I want to find out about all of them. Oh, Prague. Prague sounds so cool. Yeah. I also want to write books. I'd love to do a TED Talk one day. Could you imagine that? I, I'd bring on Jello and cry and... I'd be a horrible TED Talker. But I, I'd love to do a TED Talk. I don't even know what on... Being in a movie would be cool, um, uh, but I'd have to be like a strong female character, because I couldn't do any of that lovey-dovey crap. My movie will not be coming out on Valentine's Day. Um, and for the rest of people, I of humanity, I have always, you know, if nothing works out, um, after graduation, I don't know how I would do this 
financially, but I, I really, really, really want to volunteer at some women's shelters, and I think that would be a thing that I would do lifelong, because it's a big passion of mine, um, protecting victim of, b victims of domestic abuse. I also, like, want to have enough time to do what I want to do, like, that's a weird thing to say, but, like, I, <laughs> um, I've had a lot of friends, uh, particularly two rather close ones who have left us pretty early, and I, I always thought that they were gonna do, you know, some great world-changing, and that's why we're this. Yeah, that's why I wear this. It's for my my friend Nathan. And um, even if I've kind of lost sight of things, I get disappointed. I, I've always been told, you got to live double now because of things that he can't do. So, but living double is kind of hard when, when you can barely live, you know, your, the one life you've been given. Because it's like, it's a scary thing. But yeah, I hope I have enough time to... That I could write memoirs and diaries and things like that. <laughs> what else? I'm going to sit here and eat jello and just edit this part out later. Mm. Um. What else do I want in the house? Uh. Oh. Mm. Jello is so good. I cry a lot. I'm really sorry. And sniffle too. Sniffle and eat jello. Finished it. Aw, oh, damn it, I got jello on my screen. Oh no! <laughs> it's all over my screen! Ah! Oh, oh my god! Hey, Jello. What was I doing? No, I love Jello. It was good. It was strawberry. In case you were wondering. <laughs>